I stand here with the Catholic bishops of the Southeast of Nigeria. We just ended an emergency meeting on the state of the nation. And here we are greeting you, our people in Nigeria and beyond Nigeria. Uh, the state of Nigeria in different parts of our country with so much violence, insecurity, and anxiety is a, state, is a source of major concern to us bishops. That is why we had to have this meeting. And in the process, we have addressed a number of issues that are bothering us and which are part of the reason for the worrisome nature of our country today. First of all, the injustice, the insecurity that is very noticeable at various levels of government and the high-handedness with which government and security personnel approach various segments of this nation and this has led to a lot of public outcry, public dismay and disappointment. And in the light of this, there are provocations and reactions from the people because they would like government to respond to the genuine needs and outcry of the people. And so we come speaking to you, our people, at various levels of government and across the nation to see that this nation is in grave danger unless we bring a new spirit, a new approach. So we challenge the government to look into security matters and restrain those who are using weapons of various sorts to intimidate people and to create this unrest. We expect a stoppage of the carnage that is taking place in farmlands in various locations. We also challenge our people at large to recognize that every human life is sacred and as fellow citizens we need to cherish one another, bring a spirit of respect, of mutual appreciation so as to minimize and eliminate the bad blood that is circulating in Nigeria and that, is, that has created this sense of uh, dismay in our country. God created us and made us to live as a great country. But as it is now, this country is a source of dismay across. But we look forward, we rely on God to continue to direct us to the more noble path in this nation. It is good to note that the lopsidedness of application of justice by the government is worrisome. For example, the government has found it necessary to disarm those who are struggling for self-defense while leaving those armed herstmen, bandits, and what have you, who are mesmerizing, killing, maiming, and destroying people. Instead of addressing the source of the problems, addressing the cries of the people, they are crushing those who are crying. The government should be fair in their dealings with the people. We rely on God who never fails. We call on all men and women of goodwill to continue to pray. Nothing is impossible with God. Do not be afraid. God will deliver us. The Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
He's dealing with you. I'm a God's spirit. 